Scroll and Dagger presents Quest of Ruin Episode 16 Swarms in the Smoke Hello and welcome to Quest of Ruin, the post-apocalyptic fantasy role-playing podcast. I am your host and Game Master, here again with my cast of players. Hello! Last time, you were able to escape the strange creature in the Tower of Baradangol, thanks to some quick thinking by Aeolin and Varith. Oh great, you started her off again. Oh, shut up. But we also got those books on vampirism, right? Because that was kind of the whole point. Yep, yep. No worries, I've got them. There's only three books. I'm a goblin, what do you expect? Please tell me that one of those is going to be useful. Oh, I'm afraid you'll have to find out later. For now, you've just woken up on the outskirts of Smokewood, where you'd camped for the night. You're all feeling well rested, so you can regain your hit points. And Varith, you can regain your mana. Sweet. I didn't sleep. Come again? I didn't sleep all night. I went for a walk. Are you alright? You've been weird all week. What? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just telling you what I was doing. Um, okay, fair enough. Well, with that being the case then, can you roll for observation? 16. Okay, so, during the night, you get the feeling that there is something in the woods with you. Something or someone, but they don't come anywhere near your camp. I want to chase after it. Chase after what? You haven't actually seen or heard anything. You said I had a feeling. I want to follow that feeling. Sure, that makes sense. Um, okay. I guess roll for tracking. (laughs) Twelve. Okay, no. You definitely don't see or hear anything. You're done. Maybe I'm not. So what? Okay, guys, calm down. Yeah, come on. It's going to be a nice day out in Burriton. Oh, sure. What could possibly go wrong? (laughs) Morning, Varith. You're up early. Uh, yes, since the first light. I didn't want to waste any time. With the... Oh, the books. Indeed. After all it took to get them out of that place, I wanted to start as soon as I could. Hmm, bloodlines. A vampire genealogy. Sounds promising. That is the hope. Oh, I've been helping with this one. Oh, right. How exactly? I can read, can't I? Uh, but Link has actually been helping me with the translation of, uh, of this text here. It's written in deeper. A language that I sadly cannot read. Well, of course you can't. Not much point having a secret language if everyone can read it, is there? That is true. Exactly. And what about this one? Neither of us can read that one. Well, why'd you pick it up then? Well, we was in a rush. And it does have fangs on the cover. And it's got nice writing. Looks like pictures. Those pictures are hieroglyphs, Belink. This is Ubwain, the writing of the ancient dawn tongue. Can, can you read it? No one reads it anymore. It's a dead language, and linguistics wasn't exactly my field of study. Master Esteban might have been able to translate it. Well, perhaps, but... But I don't think Yada would be interested in going back and asking. Has... has anyone seen her since last night? No. No. I have. I'll let that. Good morning. Morning. Where is she? Still out and about. I think it's taking her a while to process what happened back in the tower. Hmm. Makes sense. Should we wait for her? Mm, no, I don't think so. She knows we're going to Burriton. She'll catch us up there. It's not far. I suppose. Don't worry, Ashlander. She'll be all right. She just needs time to process. How about... Well, how is that? Where are you? Ah, there you are. Damn it. I know you're out there. You're not going to get away from me. This is... nice. You sound wordy. I am. I don't trust nowhere that looks this nice. Remember that place, Fallisby? Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Burrowton isn't some isolated place never touched by the war. From what I remember, it was actually hit pretty hard by the Horde. But after the war, all the remaining halflings of Deathland came together and rebuilt Burrowton as a kind of, uh, last reminder of what Deathland used to be. And they built better defences. 
in case of waster attacks. Really? Don't see much defences. Well, that's because their defences aren't walls or towers. There's a huge warren under Burriton, full of traps and dead ends and tricks and tunnels, all things like that. If Burton's ever attacked, everyone goes underground. And if the attackers are to chase after them, that's when it gets interesting, see? They split them up and pick them off one by one. It's actually really elegant. And if you want to look at the designs... All right, all right, I get it. So, it really is just a normal place? Well, normal is a matter of opinion. It's harmless, if that's what you're asking, as long as you come peacefully. Well, I'd say that describes us. Exactly. We're just here to help, and make some money at the same time. So, where do we start? Taverns are usually a safe bet. <sighs> well, that is true, but don't get too crazy, all right? It's still early. And we can ask about the Hillfoots while we are at it. the taverns, yes? Yes, that was my intention. All right, that sounds good, my friend. Well, this seems like as good a place to start as any. Good day to you, masters. Welcome to the Blue Griffin. Best public house this side of Smokewater. Can I interest you in a spot of lunch? My daughter makes a hog meat pie that'll melt in your mouth. Oh, that sounds good. I suppose it would be nice to eat something besides our travel rations. Second that. And to drink? I know it's early in the day, but few things accompany a pie as well as a mug of good brown ale. Yes! It'll take a half. That sounds perfect. My thanks, landlord. Not a problem, sir. It's always a pleasure to serve the big folk. Yeah, providing they can pay, of course. No worries there, good master. Splendid. Then if you follow me, I'll show you to a good table. I thought we were going to ask about work. We will, but I don't see any rush. No reason we can't have a good meal first. I suppose. Right, something's clearly on your mind. Spit it out. I do not know. Something is just bothering me. You're not still thinking of that human village, are you? I told you- No, no, I know you are right. Remember, I have been through this country before. It is not that I think that they are trying to ensnare us, I just have this feeling that there is something at work here. Something bad, you think? Well, that is the strangest part. I, I do not know if my feeling is a bad one or a good one. It feels like, like both. At the same time. That's not you. That's something else, something... If you've led me on some kind of... Oh, spirits. More come every day. What? There were just a few at first. Then more started coming. Now they're all over this part of the forest. Wait, I know you. Of course you do. You all tried to save me from Agrippesa. You brought me back to my parents. Yes, Elwyn, I remember. But where did you just come from? I've been with you all the way here. Didn't you see me? I thought that's why you were following. Wait, was it you that I was hearing last night? Mostly. But why were you out here in the middle of the night? I usually am. I like to go walking. I can't go much further yet, but I will one day. I'm just not quite ready. I don't- But these past few nights I keep seeing these things. More and more of them. Every day. Are they dangerous? They haven't attacked me. Well, even so, perhaps we should leave them alone. Get back to Burriton. Oh, they're not alone. What do you mean? <laughs> Come see, I'll show you. Hmm. Now, was it a mistake to send Berlin to ask around for work? Give him some credit. He might be a little erratic, but he is good at striking up conversations. Hmm, true. And I suppose him being about the same size of them will make things easier. Exactly. They'll be more relaxed and so more likely to open up. Far more so than if you or I were to try. Charming fellows though we might be, I can imagine it's difficult to be wholly at your ease with someone looming over you. Makes sense. Hmm. Where's Varith gone? The bathroom, I believe. Not surprising it's taking them so long. Can you imagine? 
Oh, gods. Look who I found under the table. I wanna got the bucket! Do you know what he's talking about? I am afraid not. Ah, young Elmley Bywater's to blame, I'm afraid. He and your friend were chatting, and they started a drinking game. Oh, For what? Link. I just told you I got the bucket! I see. Maybe getting on a little too well with the locals. Yale is not going to be happy about this. Well, he seems to be sleeping it off now. Forgive my nosiness, masters, but before your friend got started with young Elmley, I overheard him talking with a few of the others. Something about looking for work? Yes, indeed. We've just arrived in the area, so we thought we'd see if there were any jobs going. Well, what's your trade? I might know of something. Mercenary work, usually. Carriering, item acquisition, bounty hunting, protection. As long as the payment is good, there's little we can't do. Ah, afraid there's little in the way of that kind of work round here. Burton's a peaceful place. Haven't even seen much in the way of waster raids since the warren was finished. So there's nothing at all? Unless you fancy lifting logs in the lumber yard. My Yoki, there have been folks leaving recently for a taste of excitement. Yeah, pack of fools. Leaving? Aye, going out beyond Dathland. Explore the world beyond. It's the young ones, mostly. Those who didn't live through the war. Don't know how dangerous things are out there. And there's those who should have more sense. Then we've convinced themselves that it can't possibly be as bad as they remember. So, where are these people going? No idea. But there have been a fair few of them going over the past few weeks. Crafters, farmers, crafters, more farmers. Even the squire's son. All of them. Up and gone. Not been seen since. Come on, Yela. We have to get a bit closer to see properly. Most we? Yes. You won't see otherwise. I'm not sure I want... Oh, spirits. You see? They bring people here to join them. There are people there. Just standing there. Those things are buzzing all around them. Crawling over them! Travelers. I have to help them! There's nothing you can do. There's no helping them. They've all reached the end of their journeys. Eyes and mouths open, you see? So that all they've seen and heard and said can be known. You seem to know an awful lot about them. I know. Strange, isn't it? I don't remember learning about them. Then how? I don't know how. I just know. I get scared by that, sometimes. Are they alive? The travelers? Of course they are. They wouldn't be here otherwise. We should get back to Burrowton. Okay. Is Lathar here with you? He is. Good. I'd like to see him again. All right then. Well, I mean, you heard him. They don't need any help here. So what do we do now? Well, there's not a lot we can do until Yela gets here. We're going to need to discuss our next step. So, for now, eat your pie. Yela! Where have you been? We have a problem. What, really? Everyone here seems perfectly happy. I'm sure they are if they haven't seen what's out in the woods. Yela, you are not making sense. What has happened? I met Elwyn. While I was scouting. What? Just wandering around? Yes. And she showed me... something. We came back to find you. Well, where is she now? She's a child. I am not bringing her into a tavern. So... you just left her alone. Outside. Damn it! Uh, come on. Aeolin, grab the goblin. <laughs> Elowin! Leitha! I'm so happy to see you, all of you. How have you been, little one? I've been all right. Yella said she found you out alone in the forest. You're wrong. What do you mean? You were there. No, I mean you are wrong. Something about you is wrong. You were different last time. I was? Yes. I think you're pulling away, but you're not. I can't tell. Look. You need to hear what's out there, in Smokewood. People. Lots of people. Surrounded by these... swarms. What? Can they not get away? They're not moving! So... they're dead? 
Oh no, they're alive. I should be with them, really. I just wanted to say hello. You were walking around with creatures like that on the loose. I'm going to have a word with your parents. <laughs> you won't be able to. What? They went on an adventure a little while ago. I still see them sometimes. Oh, spirits. You mean... Right, if you know uh, something, you guys? need to tell us now. I've told you everything already. Nothing that makes sense! Guys! What is it, Belink? Look! What? Uh, oh, by the blood. Is that... I told you. You're wrong. Get down! Why? Get them off! Get them off. Get them off. Shoot. They really didn't like you. Yuri! Ashlander, stay with us! Get back! I have something here! <sighs> hey, everyone! They're awake! Oh, thank the spirits. Uh, are you well, Ashlander? I. I think so. Just. just about. You have got some real lousy luck. <laughs> luck has nothing to do with it. They didn't like you. They really didn't like you. You had better start explaining- Breathe. You have a choice to make. I don't know why, but something's telling me you will have to decide. Decide what? I do not know what any of this means. Then you'll have to find that out first. What? Are you ignoring me, you little- Gayla! What? Nothing we'd all like to know what those things were. And if they're gonna come back? Oh, they won't come back. They finished here, with this place, these people. Besides, they're worried about you. <laughs> yes, that's... Wait, how did you... How did I... I should probably join them. Oh no, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Mummy said that. You can't stop me. She tried, and then went on her own adventure with Daddy. Oh. Blood. But I have to go now. I hope we meet again. Varith, I hope you choose right. What? How? How did... She's gone! Did she just... Shave step? Don't be ridiculous. She's a halfling. She... She must have... We have to find her. I don't think we can. <sighs> no. She's gone. I can... I can feel it. No. No, she's still here. She has to be. She's the only one who knows what those things did to those poor people. Yela, Yela, wait! <sighs> Belink, stay with the Ashlander. Aeolin? I'm coming. Oh, oh wait. no! Hey. Please let me come too! You stay in bed, you. I... I can't see any trace of her. I think Varith's right. She's gone. Somehow. Hmm. Maybe we can go help those people you saw. I don't think there's anything that we can do. You didn't see them. It's like their minds were gone. I think they were just standing there. I think we're lost. Well, we can still try. Right, Lathar? Hmm? Oh, yes, absolutely. We can go and see what we can do. Thanks, but without Elowin, I don't even know. Will you watch where you're going, you half-brained? Well, well, well. Yela Tangleweave. I didn't expect to see you in this piss-pot town. Reynard? And Lathar, too. Well, this is a treat. And, uh, well, you're not that irascible little goblin, but I do know you. Yeah. I helped get the grimoire. The one that you refused to take. Ah, uh, yes. So is it just you three, or is the whole gang here? What's it to you? Watch your mouth, sheaf, eh? Now, now, Labor. Play nicely. No need to antagonize. Especially when we might be able to do business here. Business? With you? Maybe so. Why don't we find a nice spot where we can have a little chat? Reynard leads you back into the tavern, where he beckons you to a quiet table in the corner of the common room. Can we come and join them? Mm, that depends on these three. Yeah, I can go tell them. I'm going to need help getting down the stairs, aren't I? Actually, no. You realise that you suffered absolutely no harm from the swarm, and you were laid out purely because of the shock. Hold on a minute. 
Why couldn't I track the kid? Yeah, what did you roll again? A 19. And I've got a plus 7 in tracking. I told you there was no physical evidence. It doesn't matter how good a tracker you are if there are no tracks. Ugh, fine. So those bugs didn't do anything to me? Yes. Wait. Aha, no, yes. No, that's not right. no take backs. No, no, that that's fine. It's just um, they should have done damage to you, but they didn't. Well, that makes sense. Nothing about any of this has made sense. So, are we just going to leave the people in the forest? Yeah, I'm getting the feeling that there's not much we can do for them. Mm, uh, well, I can't, I can't tell you for sure, but what you do know, Yela, is that you can kind of sense the smoke wood due to its proximity to the Fey, and you can feel that it is completely and utterly still and silent. And you know that no forest is ever completely silent. Okay, so I'm all for not going there. It sounds like this might be a job that'll pay anyway, so I'm all in favour of sticking around and listening to Reynard. The guy who didn't pay us last time? Oh uh, yeah, right. Okay, look, we're out of time for now, so we're going to have to pick this up next session. Um, for now, though, we shall say goodbye and see you next time. Goodbye! Bye. Bye. Quest of Ruin is a podcast distributed by Scroll and Dagger and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. Today's episode was written by Gareth Cadogan and C.L. Barry. It was produced by Gina Moriarty and directed by Gareth Cadogan. Original music was produced by Evangelos and Narcissatos. To see the full cast list, view show notes and ways to support us, visit scrollandagger.com and rate us wherever you find your podcasts. Thank you for listening.